today I'm going to be talking a little bit about uh, cupcakes. More specifically, I'm going to be talking about how we can use rewards to motivate an online community to contribute content to your site. I'm going to be digging into some community management best practices and then also touching on my own uh, experiences with cupcakes. So I think what this boils down to is engagement. You obviously have to have engaged users if they're going to contribute anything to your uh, site. But really, what's the point of the engaged user? I think what it boils down to is you have to connect your online engagement goals to your real-world business goals. Speaking of online engagement goals, you've probably seen this 1% rule. Um, it's a Wikipedia art article on it. But uh, if you're starting out an online community, you're going to want to set the bar pretty low with your engagement goal because people tend towards lurking as opposed to contributing. This is akin to the 80-20 rule, which says that 80% of your content is going to come from 20% of your members. But uh, I wonder, like, are there ways to fiddle with this rule? Can we perhaps tease out a few more contributions from our community members? So there's always going to be lurkers in your community. But out of that pool will come some of your brightest contributors. And I think, from my experience, the reason that people aren't contributing content is because they're not connected to the community vision or goals. In other words, they're not connected to something deeply, intrinsically motivating. So as an aside, I use uh, Cog's ladder theory to help me figure out our group dynamics. Right now we're in the polite stage, which means that the conversations are socially graceful and uh, they're, they're fairly frictionless, really. Um, but this is a great model. It really helps me develop communication strategies to enhance and drive more engagement on our site. So the term of the uh, year with community management is gamification. Uh, this is an if-then environment where if you contribute something on a site, you get a reward or a badge. It's usually looked at in an online lens, or through an online lens, but it can certainly apply to uh, cupcakes as well. So the components of a game, there's five of them. You have intrigue, uh, you have a reward, some sort of status symbol, uh, a community, and a challenge. Games can be used to drive engagement, but from my experience, it's really tricky to connect those to your longer-term engagement goals. Some folks, like the author Daniel Pink, uh, created this nifty, think that uh, extrinsic rewards like cupcakes are a no-no. He created this nifty diagram that points out that you should only use extrinsic rewards like cupcakes if you're trying to habituate an uncreative or mundane task. But Michael Wu of Lithium uh, suggests otherwise. He says, hey, cupcakes are completely okay so long as you are connecting the dots to intrinsic values of the individual. So in my experience as a community manager then, I'm realizing, sort of scratching my head actually, like, okay, so I'm trying to carve a path to people's intrinsic values, but what the hell are those? I have no idea. If games are created, I'm not only trying to incent content contributions, but to be sustainable, I'm trying to connect people to these intrinsic things. So a little bit about me. I manage Conduit, which is a uh, professional social networking site that's goal is to accelerate energy efficiency in the Northwest. All of NIA's internal staff are on board, as well as about 200 other utilities throughout the region. Uh, as an initial engagement pilot, I set up a very basic game with internal staff to drive content contribution. The idea was to be somewhat whimsical and spontaneous and have these things uh, repeat every couple months with new challenges. For our first installment, I uh, hauled around a very well-decorated cupcake cart and uh, handed out cupcakes to people who contributed content to the site. Uh, I gave away one to Kay. Uh, I think she's got the chocolate chip variety there. But I uh, also gave away to about 50 other staff that day. Uh, to extend the value of this effort, we created these Cupcake Awards certificates, which were uh, designed to really... Uh, it was like, after the cupcakes are long gone, uh, we want something to linger and provide a bit of status, but also remind people of their achievement. So our first big takeaway was that we were missing the gluten-free cupcake. We should have known better being in Portland. Um, but uh, the other thing we found is that people weren't willing, some of them didn't want the cupcake. And the moral of the story that we found was that some people just, uh, that you have to have a wide diversity of rewards in order to meet the unique member's needs. So how did the cupcakes help? In the end, we tallied up all of our engagement stats, and uh, engagement was through the roof that month that we had the cupcakes. But because we weren't tying to those intrinsic values, our engagement stats sunk to their pre-cupcake levels in the months that followed. Since then, I've been using other extrinsic rewards uh, with the broader community. And as I dole out those rewards, I've been more keen on understanding and tapping into those intrinsic values. Things that I've found so far are things like thought leadership, altruism, sustainability, and even the game itself. The strategy has been to just talk to people and understand what really motivates them, what really wires them. So far, engagement overall is up, and I think there's been two keys. Number one, on a practical level, it's just communicating more frequently about the games and the state of the community. But most importantly, it's been about 
helping people see their intrinsic tie to the community. So that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you.